If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have the new Saturday Legends. As you guys know, Saturday, we always get Legends. No stream, nothing like that, guys. Just a typical Legends Saturday. Now, for some reason, I got my Gridiron Guardians pack like a day or so late here. I really don't know. That's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah. As far as Legend Saturday go, guys, it's, it's going to be a little overshadowed by the Gridiron Guardian drop from yesterday, of course. You guys know how that goes. We get a new promo. You don't care as much about typical Legend Saturday content. I get it. But it should be a good weekend, guys. I'm excited for some football. I'm excited for week four. For all you fantasy guys out there, I'm a little excited this week. I had a Thursday night match by Jamar Chase and James, Rob James Robinson on the same team. Jamar had a modest performance, but James Robinson went off. Exciting to see. So I'm having a good weekend. I'm excited for, Sat for Sunday to watch more games gonna be a good weekend but anyways let's get back into the video if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and of course comment down below if you're excited for any of these two legends if you like any of them i'm actually per i personally like both and i'll get into why i'm both of those guys in just a second but guys first off make sure you're playing your legend solos you guys want to make sure you do go ahead and get your free boss legend in a few months when we do actually end up getting that card so make sure you are playing and collecting your tokens each and every week that is very important you really regret it later in the year when you don't end up having it and then, guys, as far as packs go, I typically say stay away from them. If you guys don't want to purchase packs, but you do want coins, head over to my sponsor. They have some of the cheapest coins on the internet, and you can pick them up for super cheap. Don't miss out. Go use code Poodle to make sure to get your discount as well. But yeah, guys, let's head over to the Legends. Let's check them out. Let's go over all their stats, talk thresholds, talk, you know, players, and talk if they're useful. Guys, so for the first card, we have Joe Thomas, the Legend himself. Left tackle, pass protector on the Cleveland Browns. Uh, so of course, this is going to be the LTD stat. So if you guys can't afford the LTD or don't like to get the LTD, remember you can just subtract plus minus one on almost all stats, and you'll get to see what his 92 would look like. Now 93 overall. That's a good left tackle. Joe Thomas arguably could be a left tackle you buy and put at your left tackle spot, and he could probably last from now until like at least, at least team of the year January. You know, because the thing is. When you're all threshold like that, you're not unless you have all 99 stats, you're really not going to improve much over this Joe Thomas. So let's just get into the stats. Your 93 strength, that's incredible. That's going to be great strength. 89 awareness, kind of sucks he doesn't get that 90 awareness. I'm not sure how much that does, but I am I, I do know 90 awareness definitely does something. 93 pass block, 92 pass block power, 92 pass block finesse, 93 run blocking, 91 run block power, 92 run block finesse. So guys, this is an all around all world left tackle you really can't go wrong having joe thomas on the squad he's incredible he's a good card he's gonna be a threshold elite pass blocker as well as a run blocker which is important because a lot of times at left tackle you get a straight up pass blocker that can't run block or you get a run blocker that can't pass block and that's just a recipe for disaster because unless you're really running to that side or maybe going outside zones where you really can notice left tackle you know or power off off tackle on the left side you're maybe not really noticing it too much which is why it's always important to go i, I like to look at pass blocking first when it comes to my left tackle spot or my tackle spots in general and then left guard right guard center i look for run blocking first but you get in the guy that's all threshold can go can pretty much stop can, can block anyone essentially and now he's just a really good card now he's gonna be expensive probably he's gonna be the best left tackle in the game um will he be expensive probably but will his base legend be a little bit more affordable more than likely so make sure to go ahead take advantage pick up the joe thomas card if you guys can get go ahead and do so lock him in he'll, he'll be a set and forget a left tackle for a very long time trust me he's really good he's a really really good card and of course it is joe thomas so it's also a bit it's like it's like one of the biggest names you can get on the line right like the larry allens the joe thomas the ogdens they all fall into that same category of like linemen aren't exciting but these guys sometimes are a little exciting because it's joe thomas right i mean that's my take on that but how much will we probably go for? Like I said, probably going to be going for the LT probably go for like 450, 500k. If all goes right, you can get his base one within a few days to a week in the 300k range. 350, hopefully, but he's going to be good. He's a left tackle, though. I know it sucks. Pick him up, but sometimes you got to do it. Lock him in, set him and forget it. Enjoy yourself. Put some, uh, you know, secure protector, edge protector, all that stuff on him. Everything that you want to put on him, post up, whatever you need. To really just lock down the left side, because that's important. I mean, pass rush isn't even the greatest this year. So you get a guy like Joe Thomas, and you really should just be locking up whoever they got in that side. At some point, it probably will be Lawrence Taylor, and you may need Joe Thomas to stop him. Surprised we don't have a Lawrence Taylor in this game yet. We usually have him by October. Usually by October, we're already looking at potentially getting an upgrade on him for most of your Thanksgiving. 
kind of weird but next guys we have ted hendricks now ted hendricks is a guy who's had a weird history month there's times when we get his cards and we're like this card is garbage stop giving us ted hendricks no one wants this card then there's times where we're like wow the way this game plays this year, Ted Hendricks is a beast. He's really good. And as long as they don't kill his speed, because there's been years where they've given us Ted Hendricks with like 81 speed, 82 speed, and we're like, this card's trash. Because it's just weird. Sometimes they, there's years where they give us like, he's an all around player. Like mid 80s block shed, mid 80s power move, mid 80s finesse move, mid 80s speed. And you're like, okay, this car can do just everything barely well. And you're like, you don't want it. But then like last year too, they made him really good. And this is another year where it looks like Ted Hendricks is actually gonna be a really, really good card. And I'm gonna get to why in just a second. He might be like, okay, you know, like the RG3s, the Lamar Jacksons, the Russell Wilson's, those dual threat quarterbacks that are just elite. He's a dual threat outside linebacker, which is weird to even think about. Because if you look at this car, guys, when I'm looking at pass rushers right now in Madden, right, what do I want? A lot of them get good power move or good finesse move, but they don't get the 90 blocks to threshold. I'm like, if they just got both, they'd be threshold for a long time. He's an elite run stopper and an elite pass rusher. But then you're like, okay, but his speed can't be great, right? 89 speed going to be the fastest probably the fastest outside linebacker in the game in terms of like usable like a, a useful one a startable top tier one with 93 excel guys that is absolutely elite whip block shedding and pass rushing not to mention gets 88 play rec 93 tackle which means he's an elite tackler 88 strength which is really good as well and it gets even better i'm pretty sure his zone is going to be mid high 80s if not a 90. This card is the the elite defensive card in the game right now. He's going to be absolutely crazy. And don't forget, he's also like six foot seven. Guys, if you don't understand, if you don't know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a defensive guru, but I understand. I don't understand how to scheme. I may not be the best at it, but listen to this closely. Ted Hendricks is like the ultimate defensive piece right now. You come out in a three four, right? You 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 have to the strong side. Ted Hendricks rushing. He's gonna be able to shut down that run on the line and rush pass rush make the tackle anything right he's gonna be elite in that game then you come in again 10 hundreds on the weak side you want to put him back in the zone you want to drop him back into a zone because on a three four sometimes certain plays have the right outside linebacker rushing the one on the left side or right vice versa in zone right 10 hundreds pops back into his zone. he's 89 speed which makes him one of the fastest players on the field in terms of defense he's six foot seven which means if you put like lurker or something on him he's gonna be really really and he's a pass cover so archetype he can go ahead and actually pick off a lot of passes and i know linebackers can't jump they can't animate but if you realize one thing in madden that kind of counteracts that ability to not animate is height like a lot of guys guys like tremaine edmonds and stuff like i've seen on regs they get a lot of picks because they're so tall they don't need to animate like the ball is just going to come to them pretty naturally so ted hendricks can pop back into his own then you come out like a nickel you have a linebacker stand-up linebacker you could play as your stand-up linebacker in a zone pick things off and he's just a big he's just a big body so like when they want to throw over the middle you see you see that the height of ted hendricks and you're like you're scared to, you, you you double think it because it's not like your typical high five foot low six foot linebacker you see so you see like a like a tower there and you, you don't know if you can throw it or if they do it inside zone outside zone anything he gets over the top and he can block shed right off like he's gonna be really really good i really think this card has a lot of purposes right now in defense and kind of similar to a depth card like a cornerback you could throw him around in a lot of places to where i think he's worthwhile having but that's what it for the video, guys. Hopefully, that in-depth description helped you guys make some decisions there. If you need coins, head on over to my sponsor. Use my code. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Turn that notification bell. I'm out. Peace.